Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, start to a brand new week. And this is the last Monday before team of the season. We are this close, lads, to being inside of the promo that we have been waiting for for a while now. And then it's had a lot of anticipation. It's almost here. Team of the season is almost here. But to start off this brand new week, we have to look at the current state of the market, how things are moving, because EA dropped a bombshell of an SBC yesterday in the prime icon player pick, and it has panic selling back in full swing. A lot of people are doing this icon player pick because it is so cheap. I know it's not icon moments, and it's not exactly the SBC that we were maybe expecting to see yesterday, but it is the one that we got, and EA Sports priced it really cheap, repeatable two times. Um, and everybody's loving it because the pack weight seems to be pretty good as well. Low tier fodder is on the rise. High tier fodder is being panic sold along with the meta market. And basically what yesterday was, and, and even right now as I'm looking at the market, a lot of these prices that I see are prices that I was hoping to see this, uh, this like right now on this game, right? Joel Cole is back down to almost 600k flat a Betty Pele I bought one of these just over a million coins after he was 1.1 mil uh so many examples of cards that have dropped down from their lows last week that we thought we missed the buy time well yesterday and that's just how content moves in this game right sometimes you get great content sometimes you get not so great content yesterday we had content that was great and a lot of people panic sold cards and we have prices now that are looking very very spicy for some investments as we get towards team of the season and as a lot of coins enter this market. So I want to take a look at that. There's a lot to talk about with that today. And also icon swaps three question mark. Like we thought it might be today on Monday, but we don't have a loading screen and we don't have any more leaks. So that is making me think that it's actually going to be pushed off until next Monday after the new season starts. Although at the moment we have the icon swaps three. Uh, this happens sometimes. It's like searchable in the quality search section. Uh, it's just some sort of like little glitch. Honestly, it doesn't really mean too much. So we're going to talk about all of that in today's video and more TOTS warm-up series content today on Monday. We're going to cover it all. So if you're excited for Team of the Season, once again, make sure to thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about this SBC, right? What is making things move on the market right now? And it's an easy answer to the question. It is the prime icon player pick. And again, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I was saying, hey, hopefully a prime or moments player pick or an icon moments player pick. But instead, they released an older SBC that we have had multiple times. I think this is the third time that we've had this player pick. But what they did was they released it at a fraction of the cost of what it was before. This SBC is coming in at 380,000 coins. Pretty sure the last time they did a prime icon player pick, it was like 700K. So it was like half the price almost of what it was. And this SBC was actually like 350 when it first came out, but fodder has gone up. Yeah, 330, 340. Fodder has shot up on the low tier and 84s to 86s are up a decent amount because of this SBC being out. You see the very high upvote percentage rate and it sounds like the pack weight and the player picks that people are opening. I've seen a lot of people, Cruyff, Hullet, Mateus, like worth it, good value pack pulls from this prime icon player pick. Now, I understand you wanting to do this, and I also understand you not wanting to do this SBC. I am really on the standpoint that I know it's a prime icon player pick. It's cheap. The pack weight's pretty good. I'm not falling for the trap by EA Sports because that's what this is, right? It's disguised to make it look like a really good value gamble pack for um, a prime icon player pick, but it's really it's really a coin drain, right? 300, almost 400,000 coins times two if people are doing it twice with lower tier fodder. Um, you know, it makes it easier for people to get 84s, 85s, 86s instead of those 89s and 90s that some of the other icon player picks uh, require with the higher rated squads. But people love this. But again, it's the prime version and it's not the moments version. But since it's so cheap, people are looking past that and still going and doing the player pick just because it is so cheap to get done and so easy to do. So that's why you're seeing the market move. And again, Yesterday, we were like, especially, I mean, last night's video, I was like, okay, today's kind of our last day for some potential panic selling, and that is exactly what we saw. Now, I haven't sold very many items. I'm actually even unassigned a little bit right now because my transfer list is chock full of meta 
cards that I have bought. Uh, I honestly spent somewhere around like 11 million, 12 million coins yesterday buying Panic Sold cards because prices are down everywhere because of this SBC, right? Let's take a look at some of these cards that are down. The Jelson Martins that you just saw me look at there, uh, he was 570,000 coins before yesterday and the panic before that hit. He went all the way down to like 520, 515, 520. I bought two of those Jelsons at 520 and end up selling them on the rebound back already at 570. So you've had some cards that have rebounded, but a lot of stuff is still pretty low on this game. And I want to take you through some of the team of the weeks and just point out a lot of prices. This, this is the buy time that honestly, lads, we were looking for a lot of these cards, especially if it's a buy for your team, if it's an out of packs item, especially that's really rare, really popular this. And I'm, I'm even surprised to be saying this right now. Like this is a really solid buy time, unless EA do something crazy, which they don't often do. This is probably going to be the best chance we get at the last low point before uh, team of the season starts. I guess they could release more content throughout this week. We can't say this is the absolute like buy time because last weekend was really low. This weekend is pretty low. And, you know, it's just overall a pretty solid time to buy, right? Robbie Keane, 704. Joe Cole, 611,000 coins. Busquets is still back down in that 270 range. But even like looking back to other earlier promo teams, Unberg is 565. This guy was like 600K plus for the, he was 630K last week. Now he's down almost like 70,000 coins. Royce is 330, my guy. Look at this guy, bro. He was 343 last week when we thought that was real low. He went back up to 370, and now he's 330,000 coins. Ben Yetter was 920K on the weekend. He is now, yes, yeah, he looked 918 on Friday, 825. That is just as low, if not lower. For most cards on this game right now, a lot of them drop to points that are as low, if not lower, than last week's panic selling that we thought we all missed the best buy time for a lot of these cards. Now, some cards have not dropped that low, right? Firmino was like 660 or 670 last week, uh, right here, 678. He's only down to like 700,000 coins. You know, Fakir is 250, so he's down a little bit, but nothing much. Paqueta was only down like 20K. But then you had some other cards. Suarez, 359. Again, there's some hope uh, that he's going to be in community team this season. So that's maybe why some of that panic selling has lasted longer on a card like his. Uh, Lacroix is down. I mean, literally everywhere that you look on the market right now. Gold Mbappe. I mean, remember when I was like, Gold Mbappe under 300K is going to be a really good buy you know, during this, the panic selling for this promo, Golden Bappe was 260 yesterday, 260,000 coins. I picked one up. He's now back up to like 270, 280. I mean, that's, that's just a GG, honestly. Um, I know that Golden Bappe is still going to be in packs, but again, as we look towards this weekend, so many cards were great opportunities. And this, this SBC created some panic and it created great opportunities to invest in some of these items for potential market rises happening later on this weekend, right? If you were buying cards, like a lot of the cards that I bought, I'm probably going to be holding on to. If I see big enough bounce backs during the week this week, then I will look to sell. But again, if you're looking for cards for your team and you have not purchased any yet, I think that this panic selling has created a great window to buy some of those cards. Look at this Cristiano Ronaldo in form. He was 600K and now he's 540. 540, is that what he is? 530, 540? That's 533. Wow. That's 529. Is that sitting? Wow, that is. That's crazy. That is crazy to see some of these prices down as much as they are. And again, it just comes at a time that uh, seems so great because the potential bounce back that is also on the doorstep at the same time with team of the season cards coming out and a lot of, you know, what we've talked about in the past couple of weeks, um, just the potential to have that bounce back on the market is very, very high. Card prices look very, very good. So that's why I'm saying right now is for any of these out of packs cards that are meta, popular, rare, um, if you see any of these that you want for your team, don't feel like uh, you have to wait a terrible amount longer to go out and snag. I think that there's there's two po uh, possibilities for today content wise. What's Ben Yetter? 825. I think there's I think there's two possibilities. Is the market going to continue to go up today after rewards on Monday? I think there is a possibility for that. I also think that some people might see uh, how good the prime icon player picks are or seem to be. Again, I don't want to sit here and tell you that every single prime icon player pick that you're going to open up and see somebody open 
is going to be an incredible, incredible SBC. But going through some of the, like, the YouTube comments on the Clips channel, sub to the Clips channel, by the way, if you haven't, cheeky plug, link in the description. Um, and even what some people were getting coming into the stream yesterday, on stream, we were buying cards, looking at fodder, moving, and talking about these player picks. People are saying they were packing Hullets, um, they're packing Mateus, they're packing some great, great cards. So with a combination of that, could the rewards market today be the rise? Could it be a little bit less because people are focused on going out and buying fodder? to do that big time SBC. I think there's a little bit of potential on that, but also I think that with all this panic selling that you have seen, I think there will be some cards that have prices that bounce back today um, on the game. So if there's cards that, again, you want it for your team, Sancho Foot Birthday has been a card that like everybody wanted to get. Um, I'll, I'll just look him up on the market because I can't find him on Footbin right there on a quick search. Sancho Foot Birthday was like 650. He went from 570K to like 650. Um, and, and now he's back down. Look, 607 for the Sancho card. So this is just honestly, thank EA Sports for this great opportunity that they have presented with us to buy some of these cards at cheaper prices. It's actually, it's great. So again, there is always with investing, there's a little bit of risk involved because EA, like we just said, could drop some insane content today or some of these prices could go a little bit lower today on Monday. But I think that what you're going to see is a lot of people will 330 for Royce. That's just, that's crazy. That's honestly just crazy to me how low this card is. That's wild. But he's still getting undercut, so I want to let it sit. Um, so, yeah, I think some people will go back out and buy teams because some people get their rewards on Mondays and they go buy teams. And this this crash like this is what people were waiting on. And some people that bought teams last week sold cards uh, yesterday to go and do this SBC. And so they're kind of involved with the panic selling as well. And once that SBC hype kind of ends for the prime icon player pick, then I think you're going to see some people go back out and buy teams. And I think that market rise could start as early as today as well. So those are the kind of two scenarios. I really think it's going to be more of a market rise and recover from the panic selling most for most cards today on Monday, as just Mondays are oftentimes days where people will go out and buy some, some cards for their club. So if you want to risk it a little bit, again, I know that you're like, Nate, there's still more coin drain SBCs that are coming out this week. Yes, EA could drop other content that could make hold cards prices in check and maybe even cause some more panic selling. But just again, to imagine how low we are with how far prices have dropped, we can't forget about how far prices have dropped and that we should see a bounce back this weekend that this time to put some coins into cards or buy some of those cards for your team is just, it doesn't get much better than this. So that's kind of an explanation of what's going on with the current state of the market on this game with a lot of panic selling, but also a lot of potential for a rebound. And that's why I've spent a lot of coins. Uh, I'm going for it. I'm risking it, right? Because I want to be able to do one last big coin profit opportunity before we do a lot of upgrade packs and spend a lot of coins during these next few weeks of team of the season. So uh, let's talk about fodder for a second though, because like we mentioned, if the prices on the market are dropping, that's because people are selling cards from their team because they see the market dropping and they want to do this SBC, a combination of both of those things. That's why prices dropped yesterday. And they're, they're selling those cards to go buy SBC fodder, which of course, as we looked at, is up except for the high tier stuff. A lot of the low tier stuff is up big with a combination of, again, EA keeps releasing these SBCs uh, that require like 82 rated squads, like the Premier League 81 times 11. Uh, it's not that expensive, but it's an 82 rated squad with an inform. So the combination of that demand, everybody's doing these packs right now to stack for team of the season, like the 83 times 5 efix pack. It's like 30k a pop, but that demand coupled with the four squads, all lower rated squads for the prime icon player pick has got the 83 to 86 and even a little bit of the 87s going up a lot, but mostly the 83s, 84s, 85s. Like these cards ballooned yesterday. In, in yesterday's video, in, in Sunday's video, we talked about stocking some of this stuff. And if you did, some people in the stream are like, man, I bought 184s yesterday and I made bank. Look at these cards going from 4,000 coins. Telemans is currently almost 6K. Look, that rise for a one-day investment is crazy. So if you club stocks and fodder, GG's because it is going up like mad. And I don't think it's really going to stop until later on in the week because, again, we're having daily demand with these 83 times 5. We haven't seen the 85 times 5 quite yet. That could be something that we see pretty soon. 
uh, the 86 plus double that is still available. Like these SPCs are dropping every single day as a part of the TOTS warm up series. So that low rated fodder is doing great, right? If you love it, if you have it, hold on to it, right? You don't have to sell just yet. I think that Tuesday, Wednesday is going to end up being our sell window just to be safe with that stuff. Um, but just kind of keep that in mind. List for lazies right now, if you've got it. Now the high tier fodder is the absolute opposite of the story. This stuff is being panic sold like mad because since the SBC they released for the Prime Icon player pick yesterday was a cheap one, you have guys that have invested in this De Bruyne last week in the high 40s, hoping for him to go to 60K, and he was panic sold all the way down to 45K because the Icon SBC that they released did not require high rated cards. It was only like 86s and below that most people are turning in for this, and that's why you're seeing these cards drop on the market as much as you are. So if you invested in some of this higher tier fodder, which I'm in that boat, right? I bought some Jose Fontes. I actually bought a lot of Jose Fontes. You guys remember seeing my transfer list from Foot Captains. I invested in a couple of, this, couple of these guys because I thought EA was going to release a higher rated icon pack. Jose Fontes is like 50K at the moment. And a lot of these cards you see here are people that are panic selling and getting out of these cards because they're like, oh my goodness, this this is a card that's not as in demand. The SBC didn't drop. Now I'm gonna hold mine at the moment. Like I've got I've got a couple pages of this of this dude in here. I'm gonna hold mine at the moment because um, most people are panic selling. There's still icon moments SBCs that people might be out there and doing. And if EA wanted to release another icon moments upgrade standalone pack, I guess they could. There have been weeks before where they release multiple icon upgrade packs. Not saying that I expect that to happen, just saying that it could. So we'll have to see. But I'm going to hold on to those cards for just a little bit longer. I know it's a tight window with team in the season around the corner. But I'm not panic selling those at the moment. I don't feel like it's really worth it for me. Right now, I would only be breaking even. I wouldn't be losing any coins. So I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on panic selling those or, or selling them at all because... I am just going to wait for hopefully a slight bounce back later in the next couple of days after people are done panic selling, and then we'll be able to collect some uh, a little bit of profit per card. That would be, the, I think, the best scenario out of that high-rated fodder for me. So that's kind of what's going on with the market. Now, let's talk about a couple other things really fast to finish this video off. Of course, I was mentioning Icon Swap Set 3, and you're like, Nate, is Icon Swap Set 3 coming today? And unfortunately... I don't believe that it is. Now, here's why. It looked really promising because, again, we did have the pack, um, the packs that were added to the code earlier in the week last week. We had the icon swaps number three, the token. It's even, again, like I said, glitched here and searchable in the store. And the thing that we're not having, though, is we don't have all the leaks. Every single time icon swaps has been released, we have all the leaks. We have the whole... We have the players, we have all the packs, how many tokens are going to require, like we have all of that. And we usually have a loading screen for icon swaps as well. And with the season ending, season five ends this week on Thursday at Division Rivals Rewards drop time period. That's when the season ends. So again, start thinking ahead maybe this week if you're going to grind some Rivals games. I got to get in that elite division for the very last set of rewards. Probably not going to end up hitting 90 games, but we'll see. Um... I just want to get my reward upgrade in Elite Division for one last good set of packs before TOTS. I think that Icon Swaps might end up being next week after the new season starts. That's what we were kind of talking about today on the stream. It looked really likely that it could be this week, but without the continuation of leaks yesterday and during the weekend and without a loading screen, I would be surprised if EA dropped it today. Now, I guess technically... Who says that they can't because they could drop it whenever they wanted to. Uh, but we don't have we don't have any leaks about it. Uh, the, the leak department right now is, is very quiet. It really is. So until we start to get some more information on that, which I think we might even get this week, um, I don't think Icon Swaps 3 is going to be today after all because we didn't see. Like I, like I said in the earlier videos this week, I was really hoping to see the continuation of more leaks. That would tell me that, hey, um, these cards are looking really, really good for or this looks like it's a very very high potential to be dropped and since we don't have any more of those leaks i don't see that as that high of a potential at the moment for this week so that's kind of where i'm at right now with those cards and with that stuff on the game let's talk today on monday right again i already talked about the market a little bit with some of these cards i think there could be a few rises i also think that there maybe could be a little bit of car some cards that don't move that much uh and and fodder could probably rise up a little bit more today as well um, you know, today content on Monday, I don't know what it's going to be really. Um, I do expect another one of those 81 times 11s. I need to get the, uh, I'm almost behind on a few of these. 
I need to get the La Liga 81 times 11 done, and I really need to get the Premier League 81 plus times 11 done. I don't want to miss out on, on any of these packs. I definitely want to hold them and save them. So um, that's gonna gonna be. I think we'll probably have either the Bundesliga, maybe the Serie A, or League One. We'll have one of those packs released as an SBC today. Um, the Premier League challenge is expiring. That's for a Premier League premium players pack. The 86 plus double is expiring. So maybe we'll have another one of these today or some other type of gamble pack slash stacking SBC that you could do to save more packs for team of the season. I don't know if I would expect anything else other than that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a crazy content day today on Monday. I mean, being completely honest, this promo of warm-up series hasn't been that exciting. Yesterday on Sunday was the most exciting day by far with that um, Prime Icon player pick being released. So I don't have aspirations of anything crazy happening today on Monday unless we uh, get some more leaks or, or EA say something. It's probably just going to be some more um, Gamble Pack SBCs. And I'm really going to take advantage this week of the grindability of these objectives and try to get myself some of these done um inside of the promo are they in, they're in milestones uh that's right todd's warm-up series number one i'm gonna really try to get these done um probably hook up with a friend and score in six matches and then kind of just go from there get it done really easy uh and, and do a few of these games and get it done and then of course grind out my rivals games so it's going to be a bit more of a gameplay oriented week for me and just getting getting these spcs done making sure i check all the boxes save up all the packs um, for the potential of packing TOTS cards this Friday. And that's the most exciting thing, boys. This Friday is the time. TOTS is here this Friday. I, I can't wait for it. One thing I'm going to shout out really quickly as well is, I know I said there's not a lot of leaks, but be on the lookout because there are going to be big leaks coming later on this week with the TOTS community voting, I presume, once they start to get information of what players are in, they're going to start leaking those players. So just be aware that you're probably going to see some leaks about what cards are actually going to end up being in the promo for um, community team this season. And it's probably, again, like I mentioned, going to happen as early as this week, maybe even uh, early in the week this week, probably, you know, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, we could easily see leaks for guys like Lacazette, guys like Suarez getting into the promo side and confirmed as TOTS cards uh, that will be released. So just kind of watch out for that. Man, this Ronaldo was so cheap. I think this Ronaldo is going to end up being a buy. He's like, if he hits 500K or even like 520, that's I'm getting informed Neymar vibes of this being really, really low after the panic that we saw. So today's going to be an interesting day. We'll see if the market rebounds a little bit at all. Fodder's probably going to go up a little bit more today after rewards as people go out and do that SBC and they'll, then they'll get some coins back from doing weekend league. So just be careful with the way the market is right now. But if you want to spend some coins on some cards that you want for your team, have at it because I think this is a great opportunity. And I think that especially if you're holding for another week or two, then you're going to start to see these prices rise up even more after this first weekend after team of the season is dropped. So that's going to be the video for today. If you do have any questions, comment down below, leave a like if you did enjoy. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's have ourselves a great Monday today. Good luck with whatever your Monday entails and whatever it brings you. But again, it has been Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.